In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what it looks like to modify or cancel a batch payment that you have previously submitted to process from a parent's bank account or credit card account. Now, it's an important reminder that in order to modify or cancel a batch, there is a timeline involved. Now, with batch payments, they will process through at one o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So you'd wanna make the adjustment for your specific time zone uh, as to when those will process through in your time zone. Now, you have uh, prior to 1245 Pacific time to do this modification or cancellation process right within your ProCare software. So the first step is to identify the batch that that parent's payment is on. So in this case, if I go to this ledger card, I see a batch payment that is currently scheduled uh, to go through, and it has a number within the comment field of that payment entry. So I'm gonna make a note of that batch number, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the deposit reports section of ProCare, and that's accessible through functions, family accounting, and deposit reports. Now, once on the deposit report page, this is going to show a listing of all closed deposit reports. Now, Tuition Express closes an automated deposit report for all batch transactions that are submitted. And here on this list is the batch number right at the top. So I'm going to keep this line selected in blue and then double click on it to open up the batch itself. Now, at the bottom of this screen, there's a button that says modify batch. So you'd wanna click on that button. It then opens up a, a page that gives me a drop down list in the middle. Now right now it defaults to modify individual line items. There is another option that you can choose from which is cancel entire batch. Now, if I just wanted to modify certain line items on this batch and keep others the same, then I wouldn't wanna cancel the entire batch. That would only be useful if I knew all the payments were incorrect and wanted to cancel the entire batch so no payments went through whatsoever. In this case, I'm going to just simply choose modify individual line items and click select option. Okay, so now we're on the screen that actually shows all of the payments that are on this batch. Now at this point, I would be focusing on the accounts listed over on the left, along with the collect amounts on the far right column. And in this case, I would just want to go down to the line of the transaction that I want to modify or cancel. Now, once I've found it, I can highlight that amount. And again, I can modify this to a different amount and proceed to reprocess this batch with that modification in place. Or if I wanted to cancel this transaction altogether, I would just want to change that amount to zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this particular payment for the Stevens family. So I've marked it to zero. And then I'm just going to click the next button down at the bottom and now it's giving me some details as to what I've done at the top, the fact that I have modified this batch. Now down at the bottom right corner, it gives me another submit button to basically resubmit this same batch with this modification. So I'm gonna click submit. It now lets me know that my batch modifications have been successfully submitted for processing. So as I exit out of these screens, this will now adjust that batch and update the parent's ledger card appropriately. So now to the left for the Stevens family, the balance has now changed and increased to show that I no longer have a payment pending for transaction today. And that's how you process a modification or a cancellation of a batch payment within your ProCare software.